Hey guys, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches and I have another exciting episode for you today. I have been inundated with mail and I want to get to as many of them as I can. So we're going to talk about eBay, eBay authentication, and is it safe? That came in the form of a letter, so we're going to talk about it in just a moment. But before we move forward, let's get the quick fist watch check out of the way. And here it is. Today I am wearing a watch that I can't seem to take off lately. It is a Seiko Sawtooth. I will put a, um, a link in the description of this video to the video that I made about the Sawtooth. It's kind of an older, discontinued, but really interesting Seiko dive watch. Guys, before we move on, I would like to urge you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so we can complete 2021 together. There is lots to talk about. Also, if you've got questions, problems, or if you just need horological therapy, go ahead and write me at markgoldberg8 at gmail.com. The only thing is, guys, I don't do personal consultations on the phone. But then again, I don't charge for these videos. This is all free, so enjoy. Guys, I have a letter. I love your videos and your watch content. I'm from Chicago too, and we have shopped at the same AD where the CD Peacock lawsuit originated. I was writing to share my experience with the eBay authentication process as well as looking for advice. Now guys, before we go on, eBay put forward an authentication process where theoretically if you buy something expensive on eBay in the way of a watch, before the seller ships it to you, it goes through the hands of an authenticator, somebody highly knowledgeable who is gonna look that over to make sure that you, sir, are not getting ripped off. And uh, that's what Hector here is talking about. I was recently on the hunt for a Rolex GMT 16710. That's uh, an aluminum bezel Rolex GMT. And I noticed that most watches were selling in the twelve to $15,000 range everywhere I looked. With this being a 20 year old watch, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to find it for cheap. All of the usual gray market websites were on the high side of that range. I've seen videos on eBay's authentication process and even read their fine print just to have a better understanding, but I had never pulled the trigger on a watch until recently. I found one on eBay for $10,500, which was about $1,500 to $2,000 cheaper. The seller was a great seller and has over a 95% positive ratings and 90,000 transactions. Well, certainly that, that makes the seller rank quite high and quite good. But why were they selling it so cheap? Let's find out. I read the description, looked at the pictures, and see, and things seemed to look good. For the description, the pictures, and the authentication system, I felt comfortable buying the watch on eBay, despite the lower price point. This is a P-Serial GMT16710, and I thought it was priced lower because it didn't come with the papers, and it had previously been polished, which I didn't mind. The watch passed the authentication process, but when I received it, the font looked off. So I took it, took it to my AD for inspection. They looked at it and told me that the colors of the bezel looked off, and the bridge of the movement that usually had 3185 stamped on it was either replaced, and so it didn't have the 3185 on it. As of the writing of this email, I plan on returning the watch but I know I will be paying more for a different watch that I didn't know if it will have also parts that were replaced on its movement. Any advice you could provide will be great. As to the eBay authentication process, it seems to me that it's not a true authentication, but rather a confirmation of what the seller sends versus what is stated in the description. I will never buy on eBay again. <laughs> Hector, 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 Cito. Listen, my friend, I um, have made previous videos in which I said, although you are buying the seller, which apparently you did here, if a deal is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Something is more than likely wrong with it. Now, I'm not gonna say I never got a good deal on eBay, but I'm at least glad that you followed my advice of hustling anything that you buy off of eBay, authenticated or not, straight over to a knowledgeable resource. Now, the only thing is, when you're dealing with a 20-year-old watch at the authorized dealer, if you are not dealing with somebody who has been there for a long time, who remembers those watches, or a watchmaker at the AD who really knows what he's doing, then it may be, they may be less knowledgeable than some of the experts that eBay is employing. That being said, I'm willing to believe that you, sir, bought a Franken watch, and that, of course, is the problem when we are dealing with vintage. So, here's what I wanna say. Guys, if you wanna buy 
a current production or recently discontinued watch on eBay. So let's say a ceramic GMT now discontinued, uh, like the old Batman or the black on black GMT. If you wanna buy that on eBay and get it authenticated, fine. If you wanna buy a 40 millimeter Submariner Hulk gold sub 40 millimeter recently discontinued and you wanna buy that on eBay and get it authenticated, fine. Because you could take that to any authorized distributor and they are gonna take one look at it and be able to tell you straight up, do you have a, a, a fake, a super fake, a clone, or do you have a legit watch? But when we start getting into the vintage stuff, the problem is, is that those watches can predate even some of the watchmakers that are working at the RSC or at the AD's watchmaking station. So they may not be as fully informed. Or you're dealing, let's say, with a salesperson who's been employed with that Rolex location for five, six, seven years, and they've never seen the 20-year-old stuff. So how are they poised to authenticate it? Vintage is a rat's nest, guys. So my advice is if you're going to buy vintage, you want to buy it from somebody who is extremely knowledgeable, not on eBay, somebody who has a reputation, will stand behind the watch. I'm talking about people like um, O. Kenny Nguyen at Jewelers on Time or David SW at David SW. There are any number of guys like this who will be able to help you. Um, Federico and John over at Delray Watches, just yet another example, and there are many. So if you are in that game and I left you out, I do apologize. But just do your research and find a guy who is not only really knowledgeable enough to authenticate his own stock, but has a reputation, a reputation to lose and friends to gain. So this is what you wanna do. I would not be buying vintage on eBay, especially not El Cheapo, because I'm afraid that at that point, you might be more likely to run into a Franken watch or an outright fake than anything else. So the moral of the story, you get what you pay for. Hector, thank you so much for writing me. I appreciate this. Guys, did I tell Hector the right story? What do you think? What do you believe? Is Would you buy a watch like this off of eBay? I gotta say, I bought multiple high-end Rolex off of eBay, always had a good experience, but I know what I'm looking at, and honestly, they weren't vintage pieces that I think are like more of a risky buy. Tell me what you think, please subscribe, like this video, and let's do it again soon. This is Goldberg, peace out. Paint the sky.